Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. In this video, we'll be taking a quick tour of Apalachicola. It's on Florida's northwest coast. We stopped here for lunch while we were traveling from Miami to Destin, Florida. If you enjoy this video, consider subscribing as we'll be posting more videos of our trip from Miami to Destin, Florida. But first, Starbucks. Yep. As you travel northbound on Highway 98 in Florida, you'll notice that different parts have different names. Sometimes it's called 30A or Front Beach Road in Bay County and even the scenic Highway 30A. It's all beautiful no matter which part you drive on. These homes are on the water along the highway. And one of the really neat things that we saw was every so often you'd see bear crossing signs. And it's really cool to see a bear crossing sign with the beach right next to you. These neighborhoods back up to the Apalachicola forest. Continuing on Highway 98, once you cross over John Gorey Memorial Bridge, you'll end up in the town Apalachicola. Apalachicola is a small town located in Franklin County. It's situated on the Apalachicola Bay and is known for its rich seafood industry and beautiful natural surroundings. The nearby Apalachicola National Forest offers opportunities for outdoor activities such as hiking, camping, and bird watching. This area is home to a diverse wildlife, including rare and endangered species. Apalachicola's layout was organized in the 1830s by the Apalachicola Land Company. The original plan, patterned after the city of Philadelphia, featured a one-mile square grid with a large central square and smaller squares surrounding it. It was late June and fortunately for us it wasn't very crowded and we were able to find parking for the truck and camper. We're here, Apalachicola, VIP parking. You'll find many small shops around town such as this one. We like to shop local whenever we go to a different town. This one had nice trendy clothes. There's also a wide variety of eateries, diners, and even some breweries. The Apalachicola Bay and Harbor was widely used to transport cotton and many of these brick buildings are original from the cotton industry. There are lots of art galleries and museums in this small town, but we didn't have time to check them all out as we were continuing our travels northbound to Destin. The vibe here reminded me of Key West with its laid back atmosphere, shops, and restaurants. The girls are gonna try to beat the heat with mullet Double shaved gum. ice. You guys get it? Bubblegum fluffy shaved ice. Yeah. Uh, candy shaved ice. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Best you ever had? 
Uh-huh. All right, let's check out Grady's Market. Oh, this is it? Yeah. Life is too short to wear boring clothes. That's true. Beginning in the early 1800s, France and other European nations maintained a significant interest in Apalachicola because of its location as a shipping port. As a result of its interest, the French government operated a consulate in Apalachicola into the early 20th century. The French consulate's location in the early 1900s was on the second floor of the Grady building. Today it's an upscale clothing store. Here at Apalachicola, we're at the station eating lunch and I'm enjoying local beer, a dirty blonde. What are you having? Marcella's eating raw oysters. Yum, yum. So we just ate here at the station. I highly recommend it. It was delicious. I had the shrimp tacos. Marcella had, what is it called? Half, I had, um, half raw oysters. I want to say half a rack of raw oysters, but half dozen raw oysters. It was delicious. The station used to be a gas station. If you're here in Apalachicola, make sure you check it out. It was so good that we ordered another set of tacos. Yes, shrimp tacos. Make sure you get them. Well, that's it from Apalachicola. We highly recommend stopping by if you're ever in the area. We had a great time here. The food was delicious and the people were friendly. Thanks for watching.